Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm Gina. And I'm Evo. Happy Friday, Evo. Happy Friday, Gina. It's good to be back. It's fucking amazing to be back. Yeah. I feel like I was in fucking jail we for were. the past two weeks. We were absolutely in jail. We were locked the fuck up. Locked the fuck up? <laughs> we were locked the fuck up. Locked up. No, don't that was let a, me out. I said that, right? We were locked the fuck up. <laughs> we, were, we were quarantined the fuck out. We actually finally got COVID. We've been dodging bullets this whole time during the pandemic. Ever since, like, at the beginning when shit broke out crazy, we, for some reason, did not even get catch a cold the whole time. And um, I guess we decided to let our hair down a bit. I, we went we went out to Dave and Buster's for for a, a family event and um, hang on one second. He keeps saying we. <laughs> yeah, we we were all do we were over there doing the same thing. Evo did it. Oh my god, bro! Tell the story of how Evo brought COVID into our house. You know, I'm gonna let you. I, I had nothing to do with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get that. It's so funny though, but because like because I caught symptoms first, right? <laughs> You could have you could have very well have, have contracted it in the same place I did and just started showing symptoms later. But we're not going to get into that. Yeah, we're right? not. But we're just going to leave it as a, I brought COVID home, even I though have, we were in the same place. I have witnesses to what Evo did. That yeah, where are your receipts at? Show me your receipts. <laughs> okay. I'd I love will, to see um, them. I will reach out to these people. I'm yeah. going to phone a friend. They're all going to be MIA. <laughs> anyway, um, Man, that was rough. It was definitely an experience. I have never gone through anything where I've experienced so many symptoms at so many different times. I felt like we were rounding all the bases of all the symptoms yeah. of whenever you get sick, whether sometimes a sore throat, headache, fever, cough, cold, it was, sneezing. It was it was all that and a bag of chips. Yo, when I tell you, man, God damn. Yeah. That was rough. Uh, I, but we're good now. Yes. And um, I actually just tested negative today. So we are filming like on the same day yeah. because I, I could not go another week without doing the show. Um, even though I have felt good for almost the last four days with right. no problem, but still was testing positive and was secluding myself from my family. I came downstairs from my prison <laughs> and I embraced our daughter for a good 30 minutes i just smelled her i did the same thing which was fantastic it was and amazing anybody that has had COVID and had to abstain from having physical contact with family members and friends it is fucking eye-opening how important physical touches what was interesting was thanksgiving oh so yeah <laughs> so happy thanksgiving to everybody yes. if you're watching or listening listening to this so evo is the fucking man and did Thanksgiving all by himself. I mean, I didn't really have much of a choice, but, you know, yeah. I definitely manned the, manned the ship. But it's not something that I think is really, like, out of the norm in our household. I don't think that... Um, Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think that you cooking is not something that is out of the ordinary but you doing a huge dinner like that by yourself is what was different well so you you cook all the time my thing was is was the interesting part was when we actually sat down and ate <laughs> we had you on a tripod yeah on, on facetime on facetime while you were upstairs in the other room while just I so that eating. we could uh we could experience it together and that was pretty interesting yeah i'm actually gonna share a picture of the plate of food that evo serves me oh because, you gotta do all that no because i want to yeah. it was fucking perfect and Evo and i got into a little spat over um facetime because he didn't do the stuffing the way that I do it and he wind up doing something completely different and now I'm fucking obsessed and now he's fucked because he's always gonna have to make the stuffing that way and on top of that check this out so I put cranberries in our stuffing so it's kind of like you know uh, uh, feeding two birds with one scone type shit mm -hmm. but Evo FaceTime me and was like, oh, by the way, we don't have any cranberries. And I'm like, we definitely do because it was in our Whole Foods order. So I was like, they're probably in the freezer because they they were free they were frozen cranberries. So then Evo took them out and he was like, damn, what the fuck am I going to do with these now? And I'm like, well, you could still put them in the tough stuffing. And he's like, no, I can't. I did this, this, and that. And then that's when I discovered that he did the stuffing a completely well, different so process. You... Wait, I'm not done. But he ended up doing his own thing and making cranberry sauce 
from scratch like like a simple syrup type of thing and when i tell you i'm fucking obsessed we usually get like the actual cranberries in the box or in the in the bag right they like they already dried out they're they're so like, the ones that i got they're like you... sweet and no you got whole cranberries i yeah. mean like these things might have well might as well have been picked from a field i just like, think it's so funny that you said we usually get cranberries but this time you got whole cranberries <laughs> What do you you I I love how you're like sitting here confused as like you don't know what I'm talking about you because know that's what, not what you we get. mean is what I usually get it literally is, said whole cranberries on I the know because those are whole cranberries I don't get us whole cranberries usually what I get us is cran raisins okay but you said this time you didn't get us cranberries I did I just got a I just didn't get them. In raisin form. Okay, so she gets a different type of cranberry, right? <laughs> I just think she it's so funny because they're both wait, cranberries. She gets a whole different type of cranberry, a whole different type of stuffing, not even the stuffing that we normally get. And then when I tell her how I made it, she wants to know why I didn't make it the way she made it. Yeah, because blew my mind. You Literally gotta blew follow the rules. What rules? You threw like sixteen curveballs at me. <laughs> you do it. And we were supposed to do Thanksgiving together like we always do. So you were upstairs. That's out the window. Oh wait, and then I, I come... threw a curveball. Yeah, that was. Ladies a... and gentlemen, can we rewind and remember that Evo book? Yeah, COVID sure, into whatever. This Anyway, <laughs> and then I'm downstairs with all these different ingredients that I'm not familiar to because it's totally different from the stuff you normally get. And then yeah, you're like you coming at me like, why I didn't do it the way you did you it. You did an amazing Man, listen, job. I got the wheel. That's it. <laughs> oh, oh, well, fucking excuse Listen, me. Listen, I just made I just made do with whatever 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 I had. But you're making it seem like we didn't have all the ingredients. We did. You it's just, just did it I wasn't familiar with yes. it. I, I had okay. to like kind of wing it, which was kind of crazy. All right, so that's our little rant. Yeah. Uh, COVID, Thanksgiving. We salute everybody. We missed you. Yes. We're so happy to be back here. I can't wait till we finish this recording because we're actually gonna go out to dinner. Because again, I have not been out of this house in fucking two weeks. So. What was I going to say? Um, let's cheers is yes, what I wanted let's to cheers. say. We're, we're actually drinking wine because yes. we had some leftover. Cheers. And this is the first alcoholic drink I've also had in two weeks. I don't know. What is it? As soon as I come down here, I start like, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Still, still uh, dealing with symptoms here. Uh, that's, that is not the case. <sighs> that it, you, you are always problematic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's that? You know. So let's get into our topic for today, Evo, because we're making this. We're let me say that again. We are going to make this a fun one because um, I could not get into anything heavy today. My brain is still not like one hundred percent there, and I don't think I could carry like a really heavy conversation. So I said, "Fuck it, let's do some fun stuff." So over the quarantine time, I had quite a bit of time to consume social media, to read, to watch TV. I did all that stuff. And I came across this one particular TikTok of this guy kind of talking about um, what are some of the biggest or one of the biggest L's of being an adult. And he said one that really spawned this whole concept for me of what it's like to be an adult and have these L's in our life that when you think about it, it doesn't seem like the biggest thing, but when it happens, man, you're like, God damn it, man, what the fuck just happened? So I thought that we would share what we thought is some of the biggest L's as being an adult that I feel like everybody can kind of identify with and kind of relate to. Yeah, sure. Because I'm almost certain that the things that we're going to talk about, everybody has done at some point in their life. You just don't, I don't feel like you do them as a kid, though. Because no, as a these kid, are you're. Strictly like adult. These are fucking things that as soon as you become an adult, you start doing them and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> so, um,. <laughs> Evo is actually going to start us off because when we went over some of these L's, I thought Evo's were fucking fantastic. So I wanted you to start us off. Um, I'm going to go off with like my number one. I mean, okay. this is just if you know me, you see me walk into a room and you probably see me do this on more than just one, one occasion. And that's going to going into a room to go get something. And completely forgetting why the fuck you went in there in the first place. And I'm talking about like. I've walked into rooms, and literally as soon as I walked into the room, because I started thinking about something on the way to the room that was outside of why I was going to the room to begin with, I like kind of broke that train of thought. And then so when I get to the room, I've like, like became so far disconnected from my original thought that I sit there confused, like, what the fuck? 
was I supposed to get? And then kind of like fumble around the room for a little bit, you know, thinking, all right, you know what? I'm just going to do a few things here. You know, I need to do this. I need to do that. And then end up leaving the room, right? Going back to where I was. And then when I get over there, it's always every single time when I get back that I actually remember what the (laughs) fuck I went to the room to begin with. (laughs) Never in, never like in the journey, in like in the, on the trip back or in between or nothing like that. It's always when I get back, something about getting back that is like, the haha go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> you're a burnt adult and this is how i prove it to you i think your <laughs> brain is like fucking with you. your brain is like i think so your brain it's like that movie inside out they're inside your brain and they're having a good time they're like yo watch this shit watch right? me watch me make this guy feel like a fucking idiot right i'm gonna go have him go in there think he knows what he's doing walk in there be a complete blank let him walk around like like a like an aimless fool walk out and then remember so he has to go back bro right? the worst part about it is like i may even like walk slow on the way back so that i don't get back there and remember right <laughs> at the, like the last minute i like try to give myself a little bit of time and say you know what this guy i gotta fucking remember and it's never fucking fails it's always when i get back to where i originally started i have caught evo doing this particular thing so many times where evo is he'll walk around like and like say say this is something in the room i've watched evo walk in a room and then like walk around and then like come back and stand somewhere and then i'm like yo what are you doing and you'll be like uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You what got. I'm doing. Yeah, I got to see me get ready. That shit is hilarious. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. When you, when you're like, th- that's a perfect example of like when you're getting ready. I've watched you. I've watched you walk. What I consider just around, like I, you don't even have like a, a like a actual reason of what it is that you're doing. You're just aimlessly walking around the room, or whatever space that we're in. And it doesn't look like you're doing anything, so, but what I come to realize is that you are processing in your brain. So let me tell you exactly what's happening, right? It's that, so typically people get ready in like an orderly fashion of like step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, yada, yada, yada. I initially start out that way. Like that is the plan. Yeah. But while I'm in step one and step two, um, by the time I go to step three, I realized that I forgot to do something to step two. So then I go back to step two. And then when I go back to step three, jump to step five, right? Because that just seems like what I want to do right now. And then just be bouncing back and forth between the steps. And then somehow, some way, in the end, I get it all done. But it just, it's organized chaos. Okay. It's literally what it is. So I'm going to share one. <laughs> and I figure we could just kind of like go back, and, back forth. and forth. All right. Yeah. So this is something that actually Evil just did yesterday. Oh, boy. But... And this is what made me think about it. But I myself have done this. And I know that everybody listening has done this. Putting your sheets, your bed linens to wash and dry. And then going to bed at night and forgetting that they were still in the fucking dryer. Literally did this last night. (laughs) This is what I'm saying. That So you walk up to your room, you go into your room and you have no bed sheets on your bed. And you're like, mother fucker because if you live in a house the majority of people their washer and dryer is on the last floor yeah our shit's in the basement yeah so it's either in the basement it's in the kitchen so unless you live in a ranch but even though still i don't really care what type of house now, you live some in. of these new constructions they actually have like a washer and dryer right, on, on the, the second, second floor. floor so my, of that. my my best friend has that yeah she has it so in her convenient. house we need but, that. but that doesn't mean that it's any less annoying yeah. when you go to bed and then you realize, because it's like, you know, we're old. It's 9 o'clock at night, right? And you're getting ready to go to bed, and you realize you have no sheets. So regardless of where it is that you have to go to go get the sheets, okay? Excuse me. You still have to put them on the bed. Literally happened last night twice. I was so burnt out from doing all the cooking for Thanksgiving that I went up, I went upstairs to go join Gina in the bedroom, right? Just so that we could just talk and stuff like that realized when I got up there the minute it was the minute I laid down right you would figure you would think that I got up there and then while I walked in I was like it dawned on me and I could just turn around and then go get it no it was wasn't until I actually laid down and relaxed right that I remember like fuck I forgot the goddamn sheets right and for anybody that doesn't know I'm gonna share a little secret with everybody 
Ivo and I have separate beds. <laughs> yeah, we do. So I'm laying in her bed. So right? They're right he's next laying to each in other. my bed yeah, that is fully sheeted. Our, our beds are next to each other, and so <laughs> I'm a, yeah I'm a, I'm a messy sleeper. So it ended up, after so many years of, of being married, it just yeah it's it's way better. After this 20 way. years of yeah. sleeping together, I was like, um, I yeah. actually think that for us to have quality sleep in our lives, we need to separate. Yeah. And that's but, a whole other story. It, that wasn't even the plan for us to yes. get two beds. It just happened by chance, and then we ended up realizing that we needed it and we kind of went with it. Um, Oh my god but it's fucking amazing and i recommend it to back anybody to what i was saying if you can i so i lay down i forget that i that i didn't bring up the sheets and i'm like fuck i was downstairs how the hell i forgot to bring my sheets upstairs go upstairs end up coming back downstairs for something else and then went back upstairs and forgot my fucking sheets again mm-hmm. let, me sure let, y'all, let me just let y'all know i slept with no sheets last night <laughs> broad dog that shit <laughs> This is a fucking. I was just. I gave up. I really did. I gave he up. He slept because um, all of our beds have like those waterproof covers on them. Yeah. But it's like a sheet material. Yeah. 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 There was a sheet on there, but yeah. it just wasn't my like bedtime sheets. Yeah. Um. So, and okay. it was so funny because you were like. <laughs> Welcome to the trinogistic lifestyle. You were laying in bed with me, and um, I you were saying that you had to go downstairs and get and get the sheets. So I was like, hey, when you go downstairs, um, could you actually get me a biscuit? That would be amazing. And you were like, I don't want to go downstairs. Nope. And I'm like, Evo, but you have to get your sheets, so you're going to have to go downstairs. And then Evo does what Evo always does in Evo fashion is he conveniently falls asleep. Oh, right? I, I, was, I was fading out right next to her. So I'm like, you can't sleep here with me. I wanted you to sleep with me, but then I'm reminded of the things that you have been doing over the past couple of weeks. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I just, I just want to apologize in advance to everybody else. This is probably gonna happen a few more times. Okay. It's just um, one of those weeks. So, um, like I said, Evo will COVID in the house because you hear me, I'm fine. But anyway, um, so yeah, Evo does what yeah, Evo does. I'm gonna beat you up after this episode. Sure. I hope you know that. I- uh, um, try to catch me, but <laughs> oh, shit. So, you think you that fast? Yeah, you think yeah. you that fast? All yes. Right. Um, yeah. So you conveniently were falling asleep, and as much and as as much as I love you, I had to remind myself that cuddling and snuggling with you was great. But once you fall asleep, you start to snore. I turn into a whole other person. Yeah, and then he starts to flip flop, and then he gets hot, and it's just it's just a mess. I was like, babe, I think you should go to your bed, but you need to get your sheets. And he was just like, all I know, I heard this. <laughs> I'm like, I could have sworn I got invited to this bed. She asked, she asked me if I wanted to sleep with her last night, right? Because we'll do that from time to time, right? We'll yeah. actually... We'll have sleepovers. We'll have sleepovers with each other. We'll sleep in each other's beds, <laughs> whether it's mine or yours or yours or mine or whatever, you know? And I, and I got... Primarily my bed. You know, and so, like, because of we had, you know, what we just went through with COVID and everything, we we had been sleeping separately oh for my the God. last, like, and two weeks. And what a, what a fucking godsend that was. Yeah, and so, you know... She decides to ask, you know, oh, you're going to sleep with me tonight? And I was like, all right, yeah, sure, no problem. And while I'm passing out, she's like, hey, get up. Go yeah, get your sheets. he started to mouth breathe. Mm-hmm. And that's when I was reminded that that would be a horrible situation yeah, like, for me. You, like, how are you going to take back an invite? You literally just invited Listen, me. Listen, sometimes that's how I got to be, bro. So you know, us Capricorns so don't give a fuck. So disrespectful. You know, we're about to enter that Capricorn season, too. Yeah. So, you know, we're about to be full effect. But let's move on to yours. All right. So my next one is something that I just I'm still blown away by every time I see it as an adult. And that's the that's the walking around in public talking on speakerphone on your phone. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I don't do what? this. Bro, like, I don't do this. No, but, I'm I'm an AirPod ho. No, but what up it's it's even like it's it's the holding the phone in the air, right? On speaker. No, but evil, it'd be like this. Look. It'd be like yeah. this. It'd be like holding it like this. Oh yeah, or or or, t- or talking into the bottom like this. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Like, wh- what are we doing? Like, oh my God. Do, I do. Is it? Do we need phone etiquette one hundred and one? Like, do we have to figure out that you Yo. can just just as likely hold it up to your ear and have some privacy? And listen, why are we doing this as adults? It goes even further as a woman. I've seen women stick it in their bra, yeah. like if they have like a shirt that's kind of like strictly Latinas. Like it's all, for me, it's always the Latinas that you always see, like the older women, right? They yeah, they like put in their right put in their shirt. Right. And listen, because we're somewhat stereotyping, because <laughs> we said the Latinas, they put in their shirt. Yeah. Listen, 
my my Arabic sisters out there. I seen them put it in the hijab, and that shit. I've seen that before Bluetooth came out. So I used to be like, yo, they're fucking thinking on another level you know right what? now. They, not... they were, they were, they were, uh, these women were hands free. Yes. I feel before like. Before anybody I, was doing it. I feel it. like, listen, that's the ultimate G move right there, right? That's, For real. That, that's how you like level up the, the, what do you call that thing again? The, it's called the hijab. The hijab right? Yeah. That's how you level up. The, that's like the two in one right For there. Real. You know what I'm saying? I love, I, I'm actually jealous. Yeah. Cause we used to live. Ability we, to be able to do that. We used to live in a town that had um, like a large Arabic community. And I used to, um, our doctor, our daughter's still to this day, our daughter's pediatrician, our daughter's pediatrician, yeah. our daughter's pediatrician. He's um, Arabic. I'm not exactly sure what country, but um, so I would see a lot of women in there that were wearing hijabs and they would do that shit with the phone. And I would but always be like, yo, this is some next level shit right here. I said, I'm OK with that. Right. They get a pass because they're st it's not on speakerphone. Like I, my thing is yo, my yo, thing is that it's is the, so true. It's the walking around as an adult talking to somebody in public on speakerphone. Right. I understand if you need hands free. Right. You're and home. Bendito, you're it's right? always like somebody's abuela. You, and yeah. Like or, you know, you're at work and, you know, you're at your desk and you're trying to like work and speak to someone at the same time. You don't have any headphones. Right? And we can do this. Phone. And right. I'm going to tell you no what problem. we and sure. I'm going to tell, tell you what we can do. Tell me it's always not like somebody's Dominican auntie on the phone. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to Home Goods mm -hmm. and they're on the phone and I don't speak Spanish fluently, but I understand. And this is usually what the conversation is about. It's them describing a piece of furniture or them describing or like somebody's Dominican auntie describing something that's in the store and telling them in Spanish how beautiful it is. <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Happen, yeah. So can you like can you like like can you like ad lib that for me a little bit like what that conversation sounds uh, like like it's like it's know, like mira mi, mi, mira mi, uh, mijita. Um, like, so this is what this sounds like. I'm going to say it in English and then I need you to say it no, in Spanish. You're gonna, you can't, you're going to. Okay. I'm going to say it in English. Then you're going to say it in Spanish. So it's usually the conversation is this. Um, listen, my little girl or like my little, my little niece or like my little, you know, something they're talking to somebody in their family. That's usually maybe like a little younger than them. And they're like, I'm in home goods right now, or I'm in, uh, I'm in Marshall's and they got these Michael Kors coats and they're only Fifty dollars. You need to come down here. I don't know when you need to come down, but you need to come down because mira, look, look, look at this. Fifty dollars, Michael Kors. Tan bueno, like. <laughs> so now, please translate I, you that know what's into. Funny? Please translate that I can, into Spanish. I can see this going down, right? I know it, you it, can. It, it, it could, but you know what? I actually see this going down more like in like TJ Maxx, right? <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, I, I, I said, said home goods. Said home goods, right? But I also yeah. said so TJ they're, Maxx. Like, they're like walking in between the aisles, like you know, shuffling through stuff, and you know, they, on speaker they got somebody on the phone, and you know, they're like, "Oye, mija, pero tú tienes que venir para acá, mira, oye, acá está, acá está, mira este jacket." <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Yo, the worst place for me, I feel like I see it the most, Wait. is like is like Walmart. Please say that again. Please, no, no, no. Please no, say no, jacket right. again. Un jacket. <laughs> Un jacket. <laughs> That's how they say <laughs> Oh my God, Evo. But, t but listen, I want you to describe how beautiful it is. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Why are you, why are you putting <laughs> Please, because it's amazing. I need this. I've been in jail. Oh my god! Please do it for me. Mira, mira. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, anybody that's not watching, we are literally dying right now. Go ahead. Um, make a okay, straight face. She might say like, "Mira, mi hija, tiene que venir para acá. Mira, aquí está, aquí está los jaques de Michael Kors. Esto está bonito. Esto está bien, esto está bien heavy, está chulo. Okay, ven para acá, ven para verlo, porque tú tienes que ponerte esto y mandarlo para la isla." All right, Yo, all right. <laughs> we could do that. We're stereotyping our, la, our, yeah. our, 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 our Latino okay. community. For, but listen, we love you. Listen, for all of you who, you who don't know, I'm I'm half Dominican and I lived out in the R for for many years, so I can. <laughs> and the other half is also something that yeah. is Latino. So yeah. we, and and I'm full. I'm full. <laughs> but, <laughs> Yo. Oh my god! I don't, I don't look it. That's why I could. I know you don't, yeah. but thank you so much for that. I fucking, I fucking needed that. All right, so um, Evo walking around, walking around on speakerphone as an adult. 
on speakerphone. And, and, and let's not front like you you haven't seen somebody okay. do that. One more pause for the COVID calls, please. Thank okay. Thank you. I have two. I have three that I want to share. I'm not sure which one I want to go to. Okay, since we just talked about talking on speakerphone on the phone, I have like three other ones that are like are, that are somewhat phone related. So I think really? I'm gonna yeah. So I think I'm gonna not share that, or uh, maybe I'll wait. I'm not sure. But so the other one is something that I think deeply affects Evo and my neighbor next door, Miss Wendy. Shout out to Miss Wendy. Um, when your grass is dry and it's not green <laughs> and you own a home, mm. um, let me just explain to you the journey that Evo went through this past summer because we didn't get a lot of rain this past summer and we don't have sprinklers and we don't believe in that because we just feel like it's a waste of water. Like the water should come from the sky, right? When it comes to the grass. When your grass is not green and it's it's not green. It, it should look thirsty. It's not cut. Yeah. It's not manicured. It's a wolf and then thirsty. Okay. Just know your neighbors are talking shit about you, okay? And because I have this impeding fear of our neighbors talking shit about us, the amount of times that I have been like, are you going to go outside and mow the lawn? Are you going to go outside and do the leaves? Are you going to go outside and um, plow the snow? Like the amount of times that I've had conversations with Evo about him having to maintain our property so that it looks at its like most pristine image because of this like fear I think only adults can understand what that is like. Wait, here's here's what's even more relatable, right? So for like the first f like four years or five years of us owning a home, like you could tell that I was a new kid on the block, like <laughs> just just by looking at my lawn. Like it was just it was that clear, right? Every all of my neighbors, they're all seasoned. They've been around here for a long time. Their fucking mm -hmm. lawns are looking beautiful. We have every this. We have this one lady that lives down the street that she comes outside every day with no bra. And man, and like oh yeah, she's, a, she's a doña. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> she's a doña. She me. loves Evo. And if you don't know what doña means, it translate that into English. That's, that's just the older um, Hispanic woman that's re respect. She's respected in the neighborhood, you know. Yeah, she's but a, she this lady's not Hispanic. She's not Hispanic, but I just still call her. This doña. lady's blanquita. She's like the blanquita. She's yeah, okay. she's, she's the white doña of the neighborhood. Yeah. So because she, she lives on her own and she holds, she maintains her property, and that shit is pristine. Yeah, there's pristine. No, yeah, she's. I don't see. There's no husband there. There's she no kids. She comes out no with nothing. no bra, she's leaning over, picking up stuff. Titties be tittying. <laughs> When she sees Evo, she'd be like, hey, Poppy, how you doing? See this grass over here? This shit is green. I'm Yo, sorry. I had to interject. So okay. I was struggling. I don't know what. I was throwing everything Home Depot had under the sun at my fucking lawn trying to get this shit to, to be green. And when I tell you. When I tell you nothing was working, you know, <laughs> oh the, my God. Yo, the gods were having their fucking field day with me, all right, yo, laughing at me yo, from up above. Just I like, was so fucking stressed. It is that that is why anybody. Yo. I was on the phone with my younger brother just yesterday, and he told me that he's looking to buy his first home. And I said, "Can I give you a piece of advice?" And you know what he said to me? Mm. He said, "Um." He said something to me. Oh, he said he said get a second inspection. I said, Max, listen, I love you. It goes it goes deeper, deeper than that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even. I'm not even concerned about you. I said, do all your checks and balances. Do all the right things for yeah. sure. Get an inspection. All that. All that jazz. I said, I'm trying to tell you about things that become the biggest L when you become an adult. Do not get a house with a lot of grass, with a lot of greenery. With, when I tell you, Yvonne and I, when we bought this house, one of the things that we fell in love with was how much landscaping there was. We were like, oh my God, this house is fucking beautiful. Look at these Japanese trees. Yeah. Look at this fucking other tree. I don't even know what the fuck that tree is that we found a hornet's nest in this this past it's summer. Like the, it's, it's some uh, like uh, umbrella looking tree. Yes. Like, this shit just looks like a legit umbrella. Beautiful. beautiful. It's gorgeous, beautiful. right? We literally have a tree in our backyard that, we have one two of, of them. Yeah, that one of our neighbors came over and was like, bro, do you know that that tree is like 
like a five thousand dollar tree. We were yeah. like, no fucking clue. We grew. Yeah. I grew up in the hood. Evo grew up in DR. Fucking flying um yeah. plastic bag kites. Making yeah, making fucking kites out of plastic we know bags nothing. and coconut sticks. So we were we were we were <laughs> fucking amazed, right? And then after living in this house for one year, I was like, I will burn all of this shit to the motherfucking ground. <laughs> because we went through snow we went through leaves we went through grass it was one full because we moved in 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 december so we got a whole full year of Mm. all of the seasons and we realized how much work it was and if your shit didn't look perfect if your grass wasn't greener than a fucking than the grinch your neighbors was talking shit about you when i tell you I had we we had every fucking weed under the sun growing oh in our grass, God. right? It's not even like one or two. Like there was a fucking community of these motherfuckers <laughs> growing all over the grass, right? Just different fucking like different regions. Like you would have thought that was like culturally they like culturally spread out, right? And you can just tell where the fucking where the thugged out weeds were <laughs> over the fucking suburban weeds and shit like that. This shit was nuts and I could not fucking figure out Evo, how to get these weeds under Evo control. Said, Evo said the weeds were outside throwing yo, up gang signs. Yo, t- t- I tell you, they were like, it's like one year was like, was like one, like there was like a, a portion of them that took over more of the lawn than the other ones. Like this shit, <laughs> this, so, shit this shit was out of control. Wait, hold on. Okay. I'm not doing the story, right? So then one year, Evo it finally, figured out. It finally clicked. Mm-hmm. And I'm not giving away no secrets, okay? Fuck that, all right? Oh, my God. Really? No, you no, better give me away. No, I am not. Hell no. You know how many years I suffered? How many? Oh year, how much money God. I threw up my lawn trying to figure this shit out, right? And then one year, it finally clicked, right? If, listen, if, if any of you are homeowners and you really want to know, send me a message, all right? I'll look you out. But I'm not just going to put it out there like that. Oh, I my had God. Two, I think that that's actually so selfish. Yeah, I'm going to gatekeep that. Me, I'm, ge- I'm definitely gatekeeping that Meanwhile, Evo format. tells everybody I do. Everything. I do fuck this shit. And you know, but I, I can't believe that you're actually gatekeeping You want to talk about blood, sets, blood, sweat, and tears? I was out there fucking busting my ass, right? <laughs> so one day, I, fi- I finally figured it out. Now the lawn looks great. Super green. Beautiful. Grows on its own. No that shit, weeds. That shit is so green yeah, uh, that our yeah. neighbor one day came over. All she my, was like, yeah. Evo, what, what is it that you're yeah. doing? I don't know what I'm doing all wrong. The, all the blades of grass match. Like before, I had I must have had like six different grasses <laughs> growing on my fucking lawn. We had I had crab no grass. Crab grass. This everything. grass. Long Island, no, fucking Carolina bluegrass. Like who the fuck knows? I, had, it was, uh, I just had it all. Finally, and again, as an adult. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you up. As an adult, this is the biggest L. You literally, this will be one of your fucking concerns. So I give this advice to everybody that is going to buy a house. Do not buy a fucking... Yo, if you can get a house that around the four walls of your house is all fucking concrete, do that shit. Needless to say... Maybe one tree. Maybe. Just, just, you know, for earth purposes. Nah, I mean, listen. If you like greenery and you just just know that it's work, all right? You got to figure this shit out. Or you paying for it. Yeah, or you paying for it. I'm not doing that shit. Like, I want to know what it takes to because god forbid the fucking you know when the day comes i can't pay for my shit then I, then my shit's gonna be looking crazy no yeah. i need to know how to maintain my my house all right uh funny thing is i'm not the, no longer the new kid on the block the other day that we have we have a new kid and he just you i sent a picture to my boy the other day and i was like yo peep the new kid on the block you could just tell he sticks out like a sore thumb that Ooh. was me the people across the street oh yeah yeah they were they were out. They were they were outside blowing leaves, and they were like trying to collect leaves. And they actually had a vacuum cleaner, like a shop vac, and they were trying to suck up the leaves. I re- <laughs> oh my god, you're 100 percent right. And I'm like, yo, peep the new kid. Meanwhile, Evil's over here that- gatekeeping. But what I will tell you, he's a friendly neighbor because when the snow comes, oh, Evil yeah. be out there with a I'm snow awesome. blower, snow blowing everybody's shit. Yeah. And it makes me so pissed off because I'm inside the house and I'm like. He's been out there four hours. Whose driveway is he snow blowing now? <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. But this is why our neighbors love him. Yeah. So, uh, I think we have time for one more. All right. So, um, one of my biggest <laughs> fails as an adult, and I think that we've all done this for sure. If you haven't done this, fuck you, you're lying. Okay, shut the fuck up. All right. I don't want to hear this shit, all right? We've all been aggressive drivers at one point or oh another, right? God. And I want to tell you something. I can't, like, the day that I knew that I needed to chill the fuck out and it just made, literally made no difference how fucking fast I drove is when I was aggressively driving somewhere and, like, couldn't get behind, couldn't get out from behind somebody and I'm driving like an asshole and I finally get around the person and I fucking take off and pull up to the light, waiting for the light to turn green, and then I all of a sudden I look to the right and you can see the person that I just passed just slowly creep up to the light. <laughs> And I'm talking about just like calmly coast into the light. Well, as I'm sitting there fucking with my white knuckles on the fucking steering wheel, because I'm in such I'm in such a rush trying to get somewhere. 
<laughs> and all that aggressive driving was for no fucking reason at all whatsoever. I could have been cool mm-hmm. as and calm and, as a cucumber as the guy next to me, but no, I had to drive like an asshole. And I've figured out now that it just really doesn't make a difference. You might you might save yourself a couple minutes, but not even, not even. And honestly, Evo, this is something that Evo and I we we go to war with a lot, right? Um, I would say that I stopped aggressively driving in my early 20s um, because Gina almost got her driving privileges taken away for the rest of her motherfucking life. They don't throw the book at you. When she was 22, that's another story for another time. But what I will say is this. So I had to watch Evo do a lot of this aggressive driving that you did for a very long time. And then I was able to reflect upon a very vivid memory that I had driving with my mother. Because my mother is somebody that I looked up to when it came to driving because I watched my mom drive stick shift in like kind of like a hooked up Toyota Corolla. Mm. Actually, sorry, excuse me, a Celica when I was a little kid. And my dad kind of hooked it up for her. So I remember watching my mom from the back seat and being like, yo, my mom is the fucking G right she, now, right? She, she had the wheel? Yeah, because it was very far and few between that you saw a woman drive mm. a stick shift. And the way that my mother drove, my mother was a driver. She's like my father, you know? Because my dad is out, you know, my dad is kind of like the one. And my dad always raved about what a good driver my mother was. Mm-hmm. Because I, I'll never forget one time, I think my dad was telling me a story about how they moved from one apartment to another. And my mom drove like this big... 18 wheel i don't know some shit my dad was just like your mom can drive you know in it she don't fuck around and then she's like okay so i grew up watching my mother be like she was a good driver but there was this one street in where i grew up in staten island um that it was it was two lanes that closed up into one lane and then once you kind of got through the one lane you you were it was at a light but then once you got closer to the light it like opened up into I think two or three lanes. Mm. I don't really remember. Okay. So I can't tell you the amount of fucking times that we drove down this road and cars, you know, because it was two lanes that eventually merged. Let's go bottleneck. Yeah, because it was two lanes eventually merging into one lane, cars would fucking lose their mind because the speed limit was 25. And my mother would drive 25. Mm, yeah. And these cars would just do everything and anything that they Because you know everybody could. else is doing like 45, yeah. right? And there they would fly past my mother and my mom would always say the same thing. She would go, she would look at them, she would wave and she would go, see you at the, see light. the light. That was me passing her, literally. Yeah. That was, I was that guy. And I can't tell you, it was probably 99% of the time that we would see these motherfuckers at the light. And I will never forget that. So when I would be in the car with Evo and he would be doing this shit, I just be like, it is pointless. We're going to fucking see these people at the light, Evo. And Yo, the Evo, worst part, Evo didn't care. The worst part about it is like I would sit there, you know, and you know you could see them in the side of your eye, right? And I'm h- trying hard as hell not to look. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look because I know they want they want me to look. They want, they want, they're like, they literally, she, like, she's the person in the other car, like, like, with a grin pulling up to the yes, light, like. That is me. Like, I, I am up? that person. Yeah, like, huh, like, how was all that rushing now, right? And so I see him in the side of my eye and I got to fight that shit. I'm fighting the whole time and I'm not going to look. I'm I not. still, to this happen. day, when people do that Fuck to that me. Fuck that shit, I don't see you. When they drive past me, I wave at them. Because, you know, a lot of people like to drive past me and then they look at you. And they look at you like 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 they're hurt, like they're burning your soul or something, right? So when they do that, I roll down my window and I wave and I smile and I go hi, <laughs> because let me tell you, I think that makes them even angrier. Yeah. Like their fucking top blows yeah. off of their fucking so, head. Needless to say, I hung that up. All right, I don't do that no more. Yeah, because just, you yeah, realized, realized it was pointless. It, it was, was completely pointless. fucking yeah. pointless. So let's recap the things that we have shared today, so that we make sure that. I don't know. Maybe we'll stop doing these things, but we're probably not. We actually have some. We had. We had. A, we had quite a few more. Yeah, we maybe did. we'll do a part two. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. That would actually maybe. be fun because we're actually. I'm um, coming to the end, and um, not that I want to rush this or anything, but um, I'm like potentially dreaming about going to eat dinner. <laughs> but so let's recap. Your first one: walking into a room and forgetting Work why the, the fuck you walked into yeah, that room to begin with. Okay, and then uh, mine was, oh my God, do you remember what mine was? Um, 
No, because that's what I do. I walk into rooms and I forget what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, leaving your sheets in the dryer. Yes. And then going to bed and yeah. then realizing that you have no fucking sheets on your bed. And then what was yours? Uh, mine was uh, talking on speakerphone in public. <laughs> and then the last one was being a rageful fucking driver and speeding past somebody and then just seeing that motherfucker at the light. Just to be holding hands at the light. <laughs> <laughs> like, you might as well just reach over and <laughs> say because <laughs> it'd be feeling like that sometimes <laughs> like i just feel like the person pulls up it's like you want me to hold your hand and you just you, you need a hug <laughs> like, like <laughs> Evo, i hate you so much <laughs> oh man um, it's it was, tell it was me, stressful out there tell me that we didn't need an episode like this yeah absolutely right yeah, i could sure. not i could not come on here today and be like Oh, so these are the perils of being in a relationship. Yeah. I could not fucking do that today. <laughs> I needed to fucking laugh today. And I hope that everybody found this episode fucking relatable yeah. and what it's like to be an adult. Because we're human. What I would love, if you shared with us what are some of your biggest L's as an adult. And while you're doing that, you can hit the like button. You can hit the fucking subscribe button. You can hit the fucking share button. You could do all that shit. Because that's the only way that we're going to be able to continue to be here for you. Even though I think me and Eva are going to do this shit. We took a vow. It's like to death do you part type shit. Yeah, like we're going to be here forever. Yeah, it's already hardwired in my system. So even Yo, whether, whether, you know. And Evo's a Taurus. And I don't know if you know anything about Taurus. Mm. They're, they're, stubborn, put- they're stubborn as all fuck and they don't give up. And I'm a Capricorn. We are two earth signs that, like, like not giving up is, like, not an option. No, nah, it doesn't right? work. Um, but, listen, shout out to everybody for being here and listening to us because, listen, we see, the, um, we see the numbers. We see the analytics. And I know that everybody's listening and they're engaging and we appreciate you. Yes. And we were so happy to be back today. Fuck COVID. Fuck COVID. For real, for real. We're going to go out. We're going to enjoy dinner. And we're going to do some probably some dumb other adult shit that we can think about. You know, I just thought about that fucking guy. be like, COVID-19, I'll, I'll blow you. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, please go look that up. Yeah. That's what I feel like right now. Um, This was a great episode. I had a, a lot of fun doing this Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Always and, a pleasure. Um, Yo, until next Friday, ladies and gentlemen, peace out. Peace out. <laughs>